This is Dave Meltzer with Entrepreneurs the Playbook. I love having a guest that needs no introduction, but just in case you don't know sports, this is Adrian Peterson. He may be the greatest running back of all times. The reason I say maybe is his career is not over, even though he looks older than me. He's an incredible athlete. But more importantly, this is Entrepreneur the Playbook. As much as you're an extraordinary athlete and running back, uh, there's so many young athletes that look up to you. And you know every team that you're on, I keep meeting more and more. What's the number one lesson, you know, either on or off the field? You know, take a young kid in his first year and comes up and idolizes you. And what advice do you give them? Um, you know, just be you know very cautious and conscious of who's who's around you and who you are giving your time to, because um, everything that looks sweet isn't. You know, and yeah. You, have, you have a lot of people, but you, you have people, you have wolves out there that's that's out there to get you, and you know, trying to attack and get something from you, and you know, that was one of my mistakes too because I'm so kind and um, you know, forgiving and understanding, and I always give people the benefit of the doubt, and you know, that has really cost me, you know, a, a lot, you know. So that's my number one thing when I talk to the youngsters is hey, especially when I can sense. Like the young guy you, you met with earlier, yeah. he has a good heart, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially when I can sense that mentality. You know, just be careful who, you, who you're around. Make sure, you're, make sure you're vetting people and you really know what they're about. You know, I watched an interview with Bernie Kozar. And you know, I come from Akron, Ohio, loyal to my family, loyal to my friends. And when I started making money, so many people, you know, they come out of the woodwork and they're like, oh, I was always, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I had almost a guilt. You know, I went to, to elementary school with this guy and his mom was losing his house and he's like, well, I've always been your good friend, you know, and I'd write checks. <laughs> and, you know, when I went bankrupt, you know, none of those guys were around mm -hmm. to pay me back. Yeah. Right. In fact, I'd never asked, but it was like my cell phone must have been blocked if I did <laughs> ask because it was like crickets that I, I was like Nothing. a cancer. And, then, and then even some people that borrowed money from you, you know, blame you. Yeah, because they're too afraid to tell people that they've stolen or, or taken your money. So they'll start saying things negative about you that aren't even true. Mm -hmm. You know, through that, like Bernie Kozar lost all his money because he felt indebted to others. When I look at your early career as well and some of the financial, you know, taking advantage of, it seemed like to me that you were trying to help other people. Yeah. And did you ever feel like guilty, you know, with close people around you that, you know, oh, I got to help him. I got to help her. Yeah. Yeah. That's just natural, you know, um, especially when it's family, you know, the, yeah. fa it's, the family can be the worst ones, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. You know, sad sure. to say. But yeah, I felt guilt at, at times and, um, you know, mostly it was just me having a good heart and being like, you know what, you know, I got it. Let me see if I can help this person. If I can help this person, you know. But I've always, I always kind of stayed back and looked and, you know, if it was something that became repetitive, you know, yeah. um, you know a couple hundred dollars here for rent, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you just gotta watch out for people like that. You can't get into a, the point where you're feeling guilty or, you know. You know, bad. Watch out for the cousin that always waits for the check. Like, <laughs> he keeps hanging out until you're ready to pay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, Those are the guys who are like, okay, yeah. I see what's going on here. It's so funny you mentioned you know, the bankrupt you know, aspect of it. You know, everyone just kind of fanning out. You know, it's like, I know going through the financial struggles that they were going to, you know, it was the same thing. It was like crickets, people I talk to twice a week, you know, just catching up and, yeah. you know, just talking, small talk. It's like, where are they? It was solid. It's quick. You know, no one, no one's around here. Nothing. Yeah, my so. wife taught me a line because I was so hurt. I just need to be offended. I'm like, that's my friend from. I played Pop Warner football with him, yeah. and my wife said, you know, they weren't your friend, mm -hmm. right? It made me feel better almost that it cleared out mm -hmm. the people that truly care about me, including my wife, by the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Because yeah. I think if I was my wife, I would have left skin marks. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I'm looking like Adrian Peterson. It's like, you don't have any money and you look like that, I'm out of here. Um, so I'm like you, God bless my wife. Um, yeah. la last question, you are, most people know this, but I want to reiterate it, one of the most philanthropic people. You had mentioned earlier, you know, Larry Fitzgerald asked you to stay for his charitable event and you're like, of course I would. Mm -hmm. And I know Larry's the same way, which is why you probably feel like I do about him. I'll do anything when he yeah. asks. Uh, but you do so much for charity. So we've talked about the family, we've talked about the entrepreneurship, but I think it's important as a philanthropic entrepreneur because there is a social 
uh, responsibility that you've upheld over, even when you're having your own personal you know, struggles and challenges, all that everyone does through life. I always see you, you know, in, 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 you know, from the Pro Bowls, you're the first guy there, you know, at the charitable event, donating your jerseys, taking your time, everybody, and it's not easy taking pictures with them, signing autographs. Through that, where does that inspiration come from? Because you know it's easy when everything's going great mm -hmm. to be that way, but I've seen you in struggles be the, be that guy. Where does that come from? You know, I think that's just rooted from where I came from. You know, small town, and being surrounded around people that really didn't have much, but I was able to sit back and and seeing how you know family, you know, and how much love was just shown to one another. You know, so that was, that's like the base of it, the base of it. And just growing up, I've always been that person to, you know, help and, you know, lend a hand. Um, so, you know, me and Ashley started the ANA Peterson Family Foundation and uh, we were able to do, you know, so much with giving back to the community. Because that's the one thing that I, I've always, I feel like that's the most important thing. You know, being able to inspire someone, uplift someone, change someone's life. Like, you never know what a message or um, you know, a nice gesture as far as, you know, sponsoring. Yeah, like t today, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing uh, 26 Days of Christmas, and um, it's underprivileged kids that we're taking to Target, and they get a shopping spree, you know, because I'm sure they won't get much for Christmas or anything, some of these kids. And it, just to see the smiles on their face, you know, just to inspire them. That This one gesture might be something that they carry for the rest of their life that, sparks them to have a nonprofit and you know do the same thing you know so ultimately that's that's what it's all about helping i feel like that's why we're put on this earth yeah. just to help inspire people well as a witness to that i'll tell you i get to travel all around and i'm in the same spheres of influence that you are i see that impact already you're getting old enough <laughs> where some of these young kids yeah. are in college graduating college and they're starting their own foundations and you're the name that they bring up mm -hmm. and so you should be proud already that that's happening now as much as i love the three companies comfort 360 i'll be sleeping on this tonight on my yeah. way back to california we got tease of texas mm -hmm. and of course o athletic i want a pair of those where do i get those <laughs> he has 8p26 all day yeah. i live in california you can't use those here man yeah you got the you got, you got my apparel line as well and it's, it's all day AsianPeterson.com. So you can go there and get your sandals. You can get your t shirts. You got a you, discount code for me at least? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Right. I got you taken care AP of. AP 2020. That's my discount code. Anyway, <laughs> check all this stuff out. But most importantly, on Sundays, watch the legend himself. This is Dave Meltzer with Adrian Peterson, Entrepreneurs, The Playbook.